This is the Burroughs calculator. The Burroughs adding machine company, they made adding machines which also uh, had, were listing machines. They printed out what they were calculating. But in 1911 they decided to make a calculator styled almost the same as the Comptometer by Felton Tarrant. In fact, Felton Tarrant uh, brought a court case against Burroughs, forcing them to change the design. So this particular uh, model was only in production from 1911 till at, at the latest 1915. I don't know how many were made. It works almost the same as the Comptometer. Uh, so these keys, as you can see, they're they have the same shape, they're all octagonal or black and white, just like the Comptometer. The register is at the front, it has a, a cover uh, that's styled almost the same as the Comptometer as well. You know, this, this curve here, the S-bend in, in the shape. And uh, the case is the same size and shape, roughly, as the Comptometer. But, uh, yeah, it works the same. You, if you, you yeah, you press the keys and that number is immediately added to the register. That's why it's called key driven. And uh, there's a, a slight difference in the mechanism of the register though. The, whereas the comptometer, if a carry happened uh, to the next column and that next column was still moving because you were still releasing a key in that column, then that the carry was delayed until the, the number wheel stopped moving, until you've released the keys. Uh, this register, however, on the Burroughs machine, it has a clever planetary gear arrangement so that each uh, wheel is driven by two inputs at the same time and so that the carry can happen at any time. So if I just... Uh, so it now says 77 there if I add another 77 and slowly release it, you'll see that it, the carry happened while they were still moving. The clearing uh, mechanism, it uh, moves all the numbers up to 9 and then when you release it, it adds one extra to make it overflow to 0. The comptometer had little buttons here that uh, blocked a carry from one wheel to the next. Well, with this planetary gear arrangement that's not really possible. And instead, yeah, they f didn't have those buttons. So if you, uh, if you wanted to uh, subtract a number like uh, 12, or, then you'd have to, just like the comptometer, you'd have to type in the uh, one less, say 11, using the small digits, but uh, unlike the comptometer you have to then also type all the leading zeros because that ensures that the register overflows and uh, yeah that extra carry that you're uh, that you want to get rid of that uh, then overflows all the way to the end and that's also why in this uh, column that on the comptometer is empty, there's one more button here which is essentially another 9 that allows that final uh, digit to overflow to 0 leaving the, the real answer. So that's the Burroughs calculating machine, the very first model. 